Derby Buds, Friends of Bunny here. If you're new, welcome to my channel. In this video, I decided to do a room tour. My very first room tour. I thought it would be fun to have memory of this sexy little room here. For when I move in the future and I look back and I'm just like... Oh, such a cute little sexy room. I miss it. That's gonna be me in the future. But before we start, I wanna give a very big, big thank you to Strawberry Buds for having us reach 600 of you. <laughs> I honestly am so, so thankful. And I'm so, so grateful to have all of you here. Once I reach 1,000, I'll be doing a really fun contest slash giveaway for you all. Thank you so much. So yeah, let's jump into the video. So this is the first thing you see. <laughs> Cute little Totoro. And his little minions. <laughs> He's so happy to be alive. Even when it's raining. And above that I have All Might plus Ultra. And Hatsune Miku. And the My Hero Academia crew, featuring some of the most awesomest pro heroes. And this one's kind of hard to see because it's made out of metal. It's a little bit hard to put up without it falling because it's a bit heavy, but yeah. So like if I move like this, you can kind of see better with the light reflecting on it. It's quite beautiful. I love it. The very top, I have... A cute little plushie of Pikachu. He's just there hanging, living his life. And here's a pop figure I have of Deku, Midoriya, signed by Deku himself, English voice actor. And this is my first figurine of Deku. And another pop figurine. This one is of Bakugo from My Hero Academia also signed by the English voice actor himself. Next to that, I have this thing. <laughs> this, is, this thing is uh, to help make it smell good in here. It like sprays automatically every like two to three minutes, depending on how I set it up. This next shelf right here is where I have all my books that I hardly ever read. And some of them are not really for reading. Like for example, this one. It's a coloring book from Tokidoki. A lot of uh, books on how to draw, as well as books from YouTubers I love, such as PewDiePie. And uh, Bubs, it's a little card that Nightmare gave me of L from Death Note. It is one of his most prized possessions, but he decided to give it to me as a gift, which I thought was sweet. This is to help charge my phone whenever um, the power goes out or whatever. As long as he has batteries, I'm good. This is a wand that Nightmare gave to me as a gift. I think it's a Harry Potter wand, if I'm correct. And this is my little cute fluffy bunny plushie. <laughs> I got it at GameStop. It is so adorable and it's so soft. I love it. And that's a pop figurine of L. He's actually the first pop figurine that I've got. Nightmare gave it to me <laughs> as a gift. He's just there hanging, you know, trying to find light. Or pondering his thoughts about ice cream and such. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, this is uh, my lovely senior photos from high school. Aren't they sexy? <laughs> These are the different views of snapshots. Okay, that one, I have no idea what kind of pose that is. My mother was there, she was just like showing me um, to make this one pose and I don't think I did it right. <laughs> Whoops, too late. And yeah, there was just an, another high school photo of me and right there I was pretending to be a vampire or something. I love how I was wearing like all the accessories that I own. <laughs> uh, 
Good times, good times. I still do that. Who am I kidding? But yeah, these are my high school photos. And for whoever's wondering, that is a flag of Peru. Because... And part Peruvian. There were a few backgrounds to choose from for the senior photos and I don't know I really like the brick background the most I think because I like to be a little bit edgy and the other ones were like like a garden or whatever and I don't know I just didn't feel like it was me I was more like I like the bricks give me the bricks oh yes oh yes <laughs> really I don't know what that pose is just pretend it pretend you didn't even see that oh yeah these are my little starlights that I decided to drape over my bookshelf because I thought it would give it a nice cute little vibe. They do turn on but uh, right now they don't have any batteries so they're just there. They still look cute. Yeah. Next shelf. I have my prehistoric console of the week <laughs> that's collecting dust. I have it because Honestly, I know this is gonna sound dumb, but I love the the design like when it first came out I got so excited for it Like it was almost impossible for me to get one because I was poor also because uh, people were like killing each other over this uh, You know the lines and the stores and all that in the malls black Friday's sort of deal anyway It was really hard to get this so <laughs> that's why I just decided to keep it plus I have games for it that I'm not really wanting to just give up on. I have a lot of memories behind it, so yeah, that's why I didn't get rid of it. Whenever I do have someone who's interested in Nintendo and doesn't judge me for having a Wii, we, you know, sit down and play together, you know, like Cooking Mama or <laughs> Mario Go-Kart or just whatever. It's fun. I have a little bank right here of my pennies. I like to just put my pennies in here and never count them, like, until it gets, like, extremely full and extremely heavy. And this thing is a box for my Nintendo 3DS XL which I which I heard that they don't really make anymore or at least the 3DS 3D aspect of it I don't know it was just it was in the news I have uh, my Nintendo 3DS it's not in the box I'll show you in a second and uh, right here I have all my Sims games <laughs> I'm a big Sims fan even though these are like literally the only expansion packs I was able to get when the second one came out and then the third <laughs> these are the only expansion packs I got you could just imagine how frustrated I get whenever a new expansion pack keeps coming out and I want it so bad but I can never keep up and then the next Sims number comes out and I'm like why why EA? why why you torture me like this so yeah whoever's a really big Sims fan um I'm pretty sure you'd understand my pain. These are all the expansion packs I ever got for The Sims 2 and Sims 3. I was never able to get all of them. And for The Sims 4 that's out right now, I have The Sims 4, the basic game, but the expansion packs for a computer, nope, I don't. I do have um, all the expansion packs so far for the Xbox, but personally I love playing The Sims on the computer, I don't know why. Anywho, all my Sims games, aren't they beautiful? And uh, here's a little, another little uh, fluffy bunny plushie that I got from GameStop. It's so cute. Nightmare got it for me. And the other bunny. It's adorable. And yeah, here is my um, headphones, or headset, uh, whenever I play Xbox. And this right here, let's see, let me like take it out for a sec to show you without messing my display up. Here is my Nintendo 3DS. It is one of my most prized possessions. Whenever I get really bored and I need like a handheld sort of like entertainment thing to have with me, yeah. My Nintendo 3DS. So far I've been playing uh, Animal Crossing on it. And uh, yeah, I have my friends on there. Anywho, <laughs> mainly because uh, I... <clears throat> just barely got in the know of um, Animal Crossing and so by the time I joined on Nintendo 3DS nobody was around me to <laughs> become my friend on there because everybody moved on. This is my 
incomplete collection of Kodocha, which is actually one of the very first animes I started watching. It's one of my most favorite, like, humorous, comedic animes. I'd totally recommend checking it out. I know it's kind of old, but it's funny. <laughs> so that was my second shelf. My third shelf is just my TV, my sexy square for whenever I'm bored and um, the Wi-Fi is out. <laughs> That's where I watch my TV. All right, so my next shelf. Let's start right here. These are, I think, the only games I have like for my consoles, like whatever consoles I have, um, except this one, th this is actually like for the GameCube. <laughs> I've had like for so so many years. These are my Wii games. Got Splatoon, Rabbits Go Home, Mario Go Kart 8, Cooking Mama, and Alice in Wonderland, as well as Overwatch. Even though I've got Overwatch mainly for playing with my friends, that's why I have Overwatch mainly whenever my friends want to play it. I got it. <laughs> and here's another figurine of Deku. It's not as big as the one that's up there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's an awesome pose of him, I think. I decided to put him on top of my Xbox. Uh, this is not where my Xbox is normally placed whenever I play. This is just where I, live. I love to keep it whenever I, I want to make more space in my room. So yeah, I think it looks nice. My Xbox One S, which I love to play most of the time at night with my friends on headset. I really love the white Xbox. These are some of the only movies that I own that I really <clears throat> love. These are mainly um, Miyazaki movies, cause Miyazaki's the man. He knows what he's doing. I love the stories that he creates and the art styles is just beautiful. I love it. And uh, yeah, I have Nightmare Before Christmas right there. And the very bottom shelf. Yeah, I just have two bins with a lot of um, junk. Well, a lot of uh, just stuff I don't even know where to put because I am running out of space. I just dump it in here. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna like sort through it. Alright, so on the side of my bookshelf I have the almighty... <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to make that pun. The epic Shigaraki. This was a special gift from an artist during the Hurricane Dorian that was going on. <laughs> Thank you so much for the artist that sent me this. You're freaking epic. Love you so much. Keep doing what you do. You're awesome. I mean, look at this. Look how sexy this looks. It's epic, all right? Yeah. And next to that, I have my closet where I have these lovely posters put up. I have my Hero Academia in the medieval theme from one of the openings for whoever has watched it. And I had this uh, for a while, like for many years, but yeah, I decided to keep it up there because I just, I really love the art style. I thought it looked cool. And on my doorknob, I have my keys for when I need to go drive somewhere. I also have my house keys and another random key. I think that key is like for a lock that I own for whenever I need to use it. So yeah, let's enter my mystical closet. Let me turn on the light first. There we go. At the back of my door, I have my coats, robe that I never really wear, <laughs> and uh, some bags. And so yes, this is my sexy closet. Shall we take a little tour? <laughs> this thing, okay, I'm gonna move this thing. I'm gonna just place this over here because I don't need it in my face. It's just, ah. Okay, the first thing, this clock, which is not working because <laughs> I've had it up there forever and it just died. But I like the clock, it looks cool. And this is uh, my first ever um, animal hat. And yeah, I got these from conventions, past conventions I've been to. Just as like something to keep as a nice memory. This is from NitroCon that I've been to in 2014 and Megacon from this year. So much fun. And this is a cute knitted fox hat. I think it's a fox. 
Either way, it's adorable. I love it. It could be a red panda. I especially love to wear this during winter time. I think it looks adorable. And I have my Plus Ultra bag that I wear on the side of my thigh. It looks really cool and it's very convenient. It has so many pockets. I share about that like in my last video <laughs> for those who are inter interested in watching. And this is my bunny hat. My strawberry bunny hat. One of the first animal hats that I've got. And yeah, this is another bunny hat. This one has like a positive, negative theme. This one's a positive one. Um, it's one of the Pokemon actually. And then there's an alien. What's up? This is my full body mirror for whenever I need to check out my outfit. Make sure it looks good before I head out. These are my shirts. My tops that I own. A lot of them I had for years. <laughs> and I'm really wanting to just get rid of a lot of them. Uh, sell a lot of them. Uh, because I really would like to start fresh with a new wardrobe. Don't we all? <laughs> Am I right, ladies? I'm actually selling a lot of my uh, tops if you're interested. I'll leave a link in the description once I am able to put it up on Poshmark. For those who don't know, Poshmark is an app where you can sell a lot of your clothes, you know, clothes and accessories, I believe. <coughs> okay, that, that was not polite. <laughs> Excuse me. This used to be a whole lot more full, like, it went all the way up to, like, right there <laughs> in shirts. And this went all the way up to here in shirts. A lot of that I'm getting rid of for those who are interested in seeing what those clothes look like. You can check out my Poshmark. And yeah, back here I have just two pairs of shoes. And um, these are mainly like my few accessories to add on to clothes, outfits. And here I have mostly my... What do you call these type of pants? The ones you use to like dance in. Yeah, I have mostly those type of pants like right here. And these are shorts of different colors. And I have some leggings that honestly I never use, but I, I'm like curious to use some and see if I could put a cute outfit together. Right here I have my jean type of shorts, including my work formal professional pants which you know I have those for whenever I need to like go to an interview or something <laughs> I don't have a lot of them as you can see mainly casual clothes because that's just who I am these are all my jean type shorts which I mostly have in blue because jeans usually come in blue or at least they're easiest to find this one's cute has stars on it <laughs> and I really love ripped jeans. Big fan. And up here I have my hats. Pikachu. A cute little donut hat. Coca-Cola. <laughs> and yeah, it just goes on. I'm not gonna show you all of them. That could maybe be in a separate video. Um, but yeah, my hats. Right here I have my what I would call most unique looking pants. Got black and white checkered, black and red checkered. This one just has a really unique texture to it. And these have like that pattern of lace. I love it. Here are my different colored jeans that I own. Except this one, I don't think this one's made out of jean, I'm not sure. I like to really organize my clothes and like uh, sort it categorize it like by color, material, design, as you can tell. Like right here, I have my regular blue jeans in different shades of blue. And I have my wigs right here for whenever I'm dressing up in cosplay or just for fun. I have fun when I'm cosplaying too, what am I talking about? <laughs> but yeah, like for cosplay and other occasions. And I have more wigs up here. This is my, what I usually wear for my Ayato Sakamaki cosplay. And extra hangers. Actually, these are 
mainly the hangers of uh, uh, shirts and tops that <laughs> I'm planning to sell. So just to give you an idea how many I picked out to sell. And back here I have my storage case for glasses which also works as a display case as you can see. It's really nifty. I got it from Amazon and I thought it was like a really great choice to be able to store my glasses safely. And yeah, these are um, just extra accessories to like throw on uh, outfits such as this tie. <laughs> I haven't worn this in so long mainly wore it like on, um, in high school but yeah and this is just I guess the jacket I decided to put there I don't know why um, and yeah I also hang my belts my belts here I've got all these types of belts and then just a simple black one I think I have another one then where is it yep more belts and I have this random bag right here that um, I haven't used yet but I might depending if it looks good with an outfit I put, put together and <laughs> this is my fanny pack that I still currently use uh, whenever I don't have the energy to really dress up or whatever I just throw this on like put my phone in there and just go <laughs> up here on the very top shelf I have my shoes some of my shoes which are over here, the rest of them. <laughs> They're kind of thrown on top of each other um, in a pile because I'm running out of space. I don't know where else to put them. So I kind of just put them on top of each other. And those shoes right there, you may be asking, you may be wondering about. Yes, these are platforms. And honestly, for those of you who've been follow me, following me for a while, you've never seen me wear something this legit. <laughs> But these, yeah, these are my very first platform shoes. I've been on Instagram so much, like, for the past, like, few years. And I've been following some of, like, really awesome Instagrammers. And honestly, some of them got me into, like, the idea of platforms. Especially when they look this cool. This, like, <laughs> unique. I'm like, yes, I need, to, I need to start this sort of fashion. I love this. I've never gone, um, gone into that type of fashion before. I feel like that's like a whole other level, but yeah, these are my first platform shoes that I'm going to start wearing. I'm going to put together with outfits and yeah, just really going to try to improve and just have fun with dressing up and making my outfits look more legit. I have uh, workout shoes, quite a bit of them. Got some in gray and white, got some pink and orange, pink and purple, got some boots, whatever you'd call this high heel sneaker thing. I don't know, it's unique. I have some like Conver high heels. They kind of look like regular Converse from there, but yeah, they're actually high heels. And some white Converse with blue laces. And yeah, the rest of this stuff, I, you really don't need to <laughs> look at. This is just uh, a lot of uh, empty boxes like for products that I own in case I ever need to like store them again safely and yeah I just have like just junk I mean it's not junk but it's uh, stuff that I really don't know where else to put so I'm just putting it back there but yeah it's not really anything you you really need to know about nothing interesting in the corner over here I have some extra posters way back there that I just put back there for now because they don't really have any use at the moment I'm um, gonna have a Christmas wrapping paper, a yoga mat, and uh, yeah, I think somewhere back here I have a unicorn umbrella. Oh, there it is. <laughs> See? It's this really cute unicorn umbrella that Nightmare got me from GameStop. Okay, I guess it's just gonna be there. He got me from GameStop, and yeah, I just really love it. And over here, this thing is actually a really large portfolio I own for my artworks. It's kind of hard to see on camera how big this is. Maybe if I lift it up. This is a portfolio I own for really large artworks that I cannot fit anywhere else. Yeah. 
So yeah, that goes there. And yeah, right here, this bin is mainly just uh, CDs of um, backed up files uh, from precious like photos and videos of family, friends, all that sort of stuff. And yeah, there's me again. Hi. Ooh, it's so hot. Being a YouTuber is tough. <laughs> Am I right? So yeah, this was my sexy closet. All right, let's get out. Over here I have some creepy <laughs> characters, such as Slenderman and Five Nights at Freddy's Fox. My favorite character from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> That's what I have so far for more dark vibed characters. And this Rainbow Dash inspired Women. <laughs> I thought it looked legit. I love the rainbow with the lightning in the background. And yeah, I don't know, I just thought she looked really cool, so I got her and I put it up on my sexy wall. And right here is one of my most favorite posters I've got recently. Super Smash Bros. Look how beautiful and vibrant the colors are. They just pop. I love the aesthetic of the colors going on here. It's awesome. And over here is where I keep a lot of my jewelry type stuff. Like this is my little hand model <laughs> display for rings and bracelets. A lot of these I might get rid of actually because I like rarely, you'll rarely see me wear any rings. A lot of these rings I've had for years. Some of them I kept for memories. Also, some of them I got from like special uh, people in my life, so yeah. Such as this one, which is a peace sign. And this one, I thought it was cute. Little jingle bell ring. I'm not gonna show you all of them right now because <laughs> there's just too many. And these are some of the bracelets that I own. Right here I got my lamp that I got from Target and my little display thing for my rubber bracelets that I used to wear a lot more often <laughs> during my scene days for those who have, of you who uh, know me from then. And right here I have my necklaces. I have quite a few and uh, again I might get um, be giving away a lot of these or you know selling them because I really want to like declutter or like just make more room for things that I actually am gonna wear or like use more often. I have a lot of necklaces that I've collected over the years. I haven't worn all of them just yet but with some I intend to at some point. I have them for specific outfits that I plan to put together. I got some pins right here that I've collected over time from different places like uh, some of them Nightmare gave to me like for example um, I think it was this one <laughs> I don't remember but um yeah pins some from Tokidoki really adorable and this rock <laughs> I don't remember where I got this but I thought it looked pretty it's a pretty blue, blue rock. And this is actually from a necklace, but it fell off, so yeah. But I <laughs> I decided to keep it still because it's cute. It's cute. It's like a little like ice cream. And this is my cute little Totoro plushie that I got at Megacon. Not this year, but it was another year. It's one of my most favorite plush plushies that I own. This leaf right here can like detach. It has like Velcro on it. But I decided to keep it on because I thought it was more cute that way. And this thing, I just <laughs> put on him. I actually wore this for like a 4th of July look a while ago. I thought it looked cute on him though. But yeah, you can all also like turn his head and everything and like position him a certain way. Yeah. If I'm able to find the artist or the seller of this, I'll be sure to link them down below. 
really cute. Alright, so my second shelf is where I have my gloves and uh, I guess you'd call wristbands. These go on the wrist, so yeah. I have one of um, like my little pony theme, checkers, and yeah, just they go all the way down. Like these are gloves. And on the very bottom I have masks. These go a little bit more up on the finger, all the way up to here. These don't, they cut off like at the knuckles. So yeah, my gloves, wristbands, and bows, hair bows. I've collected over the years and I still purchase because I have so many looks that I'm putting together. It's a lot of fun. They're more girly, of course, because <laughs> when you think bows, you think more girly girl, right? At least I do, I don't know. That's just the way I see it. I got a lot of bows. Quite a lot, really. I'm, I'm, at some point, I'm, I might sell some of them or just give them away after I'm like done using them. Got this bow at Michael's. <laughs> I just threw my, bo um, my bows in there. And got some perfumes. This is the one that I wear like all the time. The Body Fantasies Cherry Blossom. Japanese Cherry Blossom. It smells really good and I've had this for like two to three years and it's still not empty. It's like really good quality perfume. I totally recommend it. Another little Body Fantasies branded perfume. This one's also one of my favorites though I don't really wear it as often. It still smells really good though. And I have this one <laughs> that I thought was really neat. It's like a little capsule. Vampire themed. I really love it. I really love the design of this one. I usually love to wear uh, that perfume when I'm cosplaying my Ayato Sakamaki. <laughs> my perfumes. Not that many because it takes forever just for that one to run out so why should I like buy more? <laughs> Once it runs out, I'll p probably just get the same one. Or I don't know, I might start a collection of perfumes even though they will literally never run out. <laughs> Body fantasies, love you. So yes, this is my little jewelry slash accessory slash perfume corner. On the left, I have my sexy bed with my emoji pillows, my window with matching curtains, and more posters. Those up there are like my fave. Some of my top fave from this wall of posters. The artist is legit. Go check her out. And yes, here I have my Deku hero license for whenever I cosplay Deku in his hero outfit. And right here my Hero Academia scroll. It's pretty epic. Okay, this thing, everybody always comments on it saying this is cute, but why is it there? Like literally there's not gonna be any wind gust or anything to make this <laughs> sound. I have it there because, hey, can't I just decorate the way I want and not be judged? <laughs> it's cute. I think it makes a nice little touch. I like rainbow colors of beads. <laughs> Anywho, yes. Over here, got my nightstand with my sexy unicorn lamp. Got it at Target. <laughs> All the links, like any um, products I mention and where I got them, may possibly be linked in the description below, just so you know. This is one of my most favorite lamps that I've ever owned. I mean, come on. It's a unicorn. What's funny is that I got this in the like kid slash baby section. <laughs> Come on, they have like the most awesomest things sometimes for kids. Like what the heck? Like I want one of those. <laughs> Isn't that like what any of you butts think sometimes whenever you're like in the kid section or whatever? Like you see something that you like, but specifically it's for kids or like children or whatever in that section, but you're just like, I don't care. I want it. I want it. <laughs> I don't care if it's for kids. I'm a kid on the inside, so there you go. And yeah, I got my cell phone here, my technology that I have in the palm of my hands with my little pen or, you know, stylist. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it, it lights up too. See? 
Okay, that one, that one just blew out. <laughs> Did you see that? Anyway, it was supposed to be a flashlight, but I, I, I guess I broke it. Oh. I guess I did break it just now. Oh well. <laughs> I can always get more batteries. This is my little unicorn buddy that actually moves on my shoulder uh, with a little mechanism thing that I control um, in my pocket. It's really cool. I got him, her, him, her, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> At Megacon one of the years, um, following years, for those who might have seen that vlog. One of my most favorite little creatures that I own in my room. I mainly like to wear collars most of the time whenever I'm like going out. So my collars are down here, um, and I have bracelets right here that I usually wear. This is this little uh, storage thing is where I keep most of the things I wear, like all the time. So yeah, my collars and my bracelets go in here. I'm not gonna open it right now because I'm only doing this with one hand. It's really cute. It has like really um, adorable features. Got this one at Target too. On my bottom shelf, I have my remotes and this fabulous purse that Amiga got for me on one of my birthdays. It's one of the cutest purses I own. Thank you, Amiga. I love it. And yeah, the rest of the shelves, I don't have anything. <laughs> Right there, I just have a lot of uh, messy cables. Uh, we're, we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> oh yes, and this is a drawing I made. It's like really big. I really wanted something to cover like it's just this emptiness of a wall that I had <laughs> previously. So I decided to make a drawing. I literally made this drawing just so that I can print it out this big, just to like cover that <laughs> empty wall I had right there. So yeah, it's an artwork I have up there. And over here I have Kingdom Hearts more Deku from My Hero Academia. Posters. Hatsune Miku. And yes, this is another drawing I made. As well as this one. And this is a little uh, appreciation <laughs> card that I was sent in the mail from my college. That was really nice of them. I'm so happy that I graduated. And yeah, this is a signed little poster of Ash. Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. And yeah, so it was signed by Veronica Taylor, the original voice actress. And here is a beautiful <laughs> strip photo from a booth that Nightmare and I took at a mall quite a few years ago, but <laughs> I really love it, so I still have it up there. We might update it, have a new one, put it up there. See, you could tell because my, my hair was like long and brown. And yes, this is a drawing uh, Nightmare did for me of him. He accidentally misspelled it, Nightmare. <laughs> I sometimes do that myself. Sometimes when I'm not uh, thinking about it, I misspell things and then it's like too late. And uh. But anyway, I, I thought it was really sweet of him to draw me something. So yeah, this is my uh, cork board with all these lovely items. And up here I have my college degree, quite beautiful. And a poster I got from GameStop, they were giving it out for free so I thought why not. And I just really love the colorful rainbow background of it too. And here is where I like to create most of the time. This is my little desk where I have my Toshiba laptop, a lamp I got from Target, my um, Blue Yeti mic, and this is my Wacom drawing tablet. I was so freaking happy when I got this drawing tablet. It changed my drawing experience to a whole other fun level. I'm so glad I have one now. And yes, we have drawers right here, which I'm not gonna open because <laughs> there's just a lot of junk, a lot of clutter <laughs> that you don't need to see. Underneath here, I have my laptop cases and my camera bag and my dirty chair. <laughs> Honestly, it came like that, but you know, has to do for now. And over here is my vanity area where I like to get ready and sometimes like dress up in fun characters. So yeah, this is actually a, what would you call this? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like not really fully aware what you call this. 
This is where you put like a candle to, you know, like make the room smell nice. Right now I just have it as decoration. It has um, these symbols that have meanings. <laughs> what are the meanings? Love, joy, and beauty. My grandmother gave this to me for Christmas. And um, yeah, I thought it was really special, so I decided to put it right here. I feel like this is the best place for me to put it. Any other place it kind of like, I don't know, it just doesn't go. I really just love the design. And yeah, those words that we just re read are right here on each side. Right here I have a brush. <laughs> yes, a brush. And um, other brushes, like makeup brushes. Self-explanatory. Some paint brushes that I use as makeup brushes for certain things, certain effects. I got some hair clips hair ties, some scrunchies, no I'm not a visco girl, <laughs> or at least I don't think I am. And I got some brush cleaning solution, a cute little mirror that my grandma gave me, it's really tiny, <laughs> eyelash curler, hi, I have my makeup, got eyeshadow, got blush, got some tweezers, nail clippers, Eyeliners. I use this for contouring, <laughs> though I don't think it's my right shade. And this lipstick thing is not really for my lips. I don't use it for my lips, I actually use it to cover up my dark eye circles that I have. Black eyeliners. And yeah, brow powdery thing to make my eyebrows look even more fuller. And yes, this is another mirror that lights up actually, but I don't have any batteries in it right now. <laughs> It, it like flips around so like I can like have like 10 times zoom even though I don't really like that because I could see like everything like all the catastrophe that's on my face <laughs> and yeah there's Bob again <laughs> for those of you who've seen him in the Megacom vlog and yes this is my Deku slash Midoriya wig that I got from Amazon I wore this at Megacon this year for those of you who've seen from my Megacon vlog. It actually didn't come this way, I had to trim it. Also use some specific uh, hairspray to like um, shape it, you know, the layers. I styled this wig. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I styled this wig um, myself. It took quite a bit of time, but I'm happy with how it came out as my first attempt. <laughs> I got the styrofoam head, I got Bob, from Michaels. And yeah, right here, um, I guess I can pull this out. It doesn't pull out all the way. I just got brushes and pouch for my makeup brushes. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh because others have like a huge vanity mirror and I just have this tiny one, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Little mirror that I got from Dollar Tree. This is my first official logo that I officially designed myself. It took me a while, but I'm happy with how it turned out, at least for the first version of it, or second version. I think it might be the second version, actually. Above that is this beautiful <laughs> artwork that I got at Megacon. I don't remember the artist's name, but if I find her, I'll be sure to link her in the description. I just thought it looked really pretty and majestic. I'm all about that majestic vibe. And yeah, I have, um... More of my artworks that I've made, such as him, her, and her. This one uh, was the first one I drew with my drawing tablet. It was really fun. In case you're interested, I'll leave my deviant art in the description, as well as my Instagram for my art account. Yeah. That's my only light source in my room. By default. That's why I had to put that lamp there that lamp there and that lamp there even though that one is not turned on right now ah, the struggle's real that is all for my room tour my nerdy nerdy room tour <laughs> let me know what part you enjoyed most also let me know what your favorite thing about your bedroom is in the comments below and I may just reply back thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to click the like button as it helps me push forward in creating content I'm truly, truly passionate about. 
Also, if you're new here and enjoyed, subscribe and click that little bell button to become a strawberry bud today. Stay epic and I'll see you all in my next video. Remember, peace, love, and respect. Remember that. That's what makes the world go round. Love you all.